Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to the, your lecture about the biochemistry of carbohydrates. Uh, first of all, we uh, are uh, going towards the introduction of the carbohydrates. What is the carbohydrates actually? The carbohydrates are the compounds which uh, in the pre previously it is called as the the carbohydrates are that compounds which contains the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. They are called as the hydrated compounds. Carbohydrates are simply called as the hydrated, hydrated carbons. Because they contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. They are called as the hydrated carbons because they contain the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. But later on it was discovered that the carbohydrates are not only consist of the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen but it also contains the other molecules like the sulfur, phosphorus, and other compounds so they are not only called as the hydrated carbons the actual definition of the carbohydrates are the polyhydroxy acetone polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketone they are the polyhydroxy aldehydes and ketones they contain the aldehydes and ketones and their as their functional groups and also contains the hydroxyl groups are also present in their structure so that's why they are called as the polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones Now we are going towards the classification of the carbohydrates. Classification of carbohydrates. These are classified depending upon the functional group present in it and also the carbon numbers present in it. They are classified into the monosaccharides disaccharides trisaccharides Tetrasaccharides, pentasaccharides, and so on. Oligosaccharides. the polysaccharides. The, this is the general classification of the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are classified into the monosaccharides, disaccharides, tetrasaccharides, trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides, pentasaccharides, oligosaccharides and the polysaccharides. In monosaccharides, they are subdivided into the 
triosis depending upon the presence of the carbon number in them they are sub classified into triosis tetrosis pentosis hexosis heptosis and so on in case of triosis now depending upon the aldehydes and ketones the functional groups present in them the functional groups present in them they are classified into glyceraldehyde three carbon compounds these are glyceraldehydes cho c oh h and ch2oh this is the glyceraldehyde and it is dihydroxy acetone dihydroxy acetone the structure of this one is ch2oh c double bond o ch2 oh dihydroxy acetone this is the keto form and this is the aldehyde form of the triosis then the tetrosis in case of the tetrosis in case of tetrosis aldehydic form keto form in aldehydic form erythrose and in keto form erythrolose in case of pentosis the examples are ribose and ribolose hexosis examples are glucose these are six carbon these are five carbon and four carbon glucose and fructose heptosis seven carbon the example is gluco heptose and cedo heptolose these are the sub classification of the monosaccharides they are sub classified into they are sub classified into the triosis tetrosis pentosis hexosis and heptosis and in here aldehyde form and keto form depending upon the functional groups present in them either the aldehyde compound is present or either the aldehyde group is present or either the keto group is present they are sub divided into erythrose and erythrolose in case of pentosis ribose and ribolose in case of hexosis glucose and fructose 
and in case of heptose is glucoheptose and acetoheptolose after monosaccharides the sum of the examples of the disaccharides disaccharides example is sucrose lactose maltose isomaltose and trihalose in this sucrose the glucose plus fructose and the bond in between is alpha 1 2 in lactose glucose plus glucose the bond is alpha 1 4 bond is beta 1 And in case of maltose, glucose plus glucose, galactose, glucose plus glucose, and the bond is alpha one four. Isomaltose, glucose plus glucose, and the bond is alpha alpha one six. And then. glucose plus glucose alpha 1 1 these are the examples of the disaccharide some of the examples of the disaccharide sucrose which contains the glucose and fructose monosaccharide units and uh, they both are combined with each other with the help of the glycosidic bond that is alpha 1 2 in case of lactose the lactose and glucose are the monomeric units of this lactose and it, they are connected with each other by the bond of beta 1 4 in case of maltose the glucose plus glucose this this is a poly, uh, disaccharide of glucose and glucose and they both molecules are join with each other with the help of the alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage in case of isomaltase again the glucose both the molecules monosaccharide units are the glucose and the uh, molecule uh, is called as the uh, contains the glycosidic linkage of alpha 1 6 similarly in case of trihalose glucose and glucose are attached with each other and the glycosidic linkage is the alpha 1 1 alpha 1 1 now after disaccharides the next one is the trisaccharides
Crazy grapes. Crazy grapes are those in which the three molecules of uh, the monosaccharide units are attached with each other or called as the in where the three monosaccharidal units are attached with each other, they are called as the trisaccharides. And in tetra cigarettes, four monosaccharidal units. In penta, there are five monosaccharidal units are present in it. And so, in case of oligosaccharides, which upon hydrolysis, Hydrolysis give rise to two to ten molecules of monosaccharidal units are called as the oligosaccharides. Then the polysaccharides. Which upon complete hydrolysis or hydrolysis give rise to more than ten monosaccharidal units are called as polysaccharides. The polysaccharides are then again subdivided into the polysaccharides are again subdivided into the homopolysaccharides And heteropolysaccharides. O means the one same type of same monosaccharidal units are present in it. The same monosaccharidal units are present in it. But in case of heteropolysaccharides, they contain the different monosaccharidal units. Examples of homopolysaccharides are the starch, Glycogen, chitin, pectin, cellulose, etc. And in hydrocolysaccharides, examples are aluminic acid. Chondritin, sulfate, heparin, and so on. These are the heteropolysaccharides. Polysaccharides are in the other way, they are subdivided into the 
structure polysaccharides which are very important for the structure of the plants like cellulose chitin and pectin and they are called as a storage they are called as a storage poly saccharides like starch and glycogen Starch is the plant storage molecule and glycogen is the animal storage molecule. This is the simple classification of the carbohydrates but in an other way they are also classified the other way of classification of carbohydrates is on the basis of their properties simple carbohydrates Number two, the compound carbohydrates, and the last one are the derived carbohydrates. Derived carbohydrates. in the simple carbohydrates they are again divided into the monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides which we are studying earlier the same word is in case of the simple carbohydrate then when we going towards the compound carbohydrates as it is shows by the name the compound carbohydrates are those carbohydrates which contain a prostatic group attached with them they contain a prostatic group attached with carbo hydrates like glyco proteins glyco lipids in which the prostatic group is proteins and in this is the lipids the example of this one is amino globulins that are also called as the antibodies 
and they have the role in the diseases. In case of glycolipids, the example is the glycophospholipids. Which are the important part of the cell membrane and they are used for the transportation of the lipids in the cell membrane. Glycophospholipids. Then the last one type is the Derived carbohydrates. Last one is the derived carbohydrates. Derived carbohydrates. These are subdivided into four types. One, two, three, four. First one is the oxidative products reduction products amino sugars and deoxy sugars derived carbohydrates are those carbohydrates which are actually derived from the carbohydrates and they are formed during the different types of reactions of the carbohydrates Molecules that are produced as the products of the uh, reactions of carbohydrates are called as the derived carbohydrates. In case of oxidative products, uh, these are of four types oxidative products, reduction products, amino sugars, and deoxy sugars. Let's we go one by one. Oxidation products, these are derived from, for example, from glucose on its oxidation, the products are formed gluconic acid, glucaric acid, and ascorbic acid vitamin these are the oxidative products of the glucose when the glucose goes oxidation reactions the second is reduction products In this case, when the glycerol dehyde is reduced, it converted into glycerol and ribose is reduced to rabito. So the alcohols are formed during the reduction products. 
the glyceraldehyde is reduced to glycerol and ribose is reduced to form the rabitol the alcohol third one is the amino sugars in case of dried carbohydrates the third one is the amino sugars in case of amino sugars the nh2 group is present or incorporated in carbureted add carbon number 2 add carbon number 2 of the sugar molecule molecule for example glucosamine is formed from glucose when nh2 is added at carbon number 2 mannose is converted into mannosamine and galactose is converted into galactosamine these are the amino sugars which are formed by the addition of the amino group at the carbon number 2 of the sugar molecule the last one in this is the deoxy sugars they have less number of oxygen atoms as compared to their mono sacridal sugars for example ribose is converted into d oxy ribose when from carbon number 2 the oxygen molecule is removed one oxygen molecule from the carbon number 2 is removed in the ribose molecule then it is converted into deoxy ribose and this sugar is used in dna molecule these are about the classification of the carbohydrates i hope you understand the lecture about the classification of the carbohydrates if you have any questions you may please ask me on my whatsapp group or you can write in the comment section of the youtube channel or you can approach me by putting your comments in the youtube channel and by sending me the email on my email address thank you so very much students allah hafiz